Let's see if this is going to work for us. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Hopefully this is working. Facebook is giving me a run for my money this morning, but I'm so excited to talk to you about today's training. It's a question I've been hearing from so many women lately, and so I just want to address it. And literally, I've had so many women tell me, Anna, like, what about the funnels? What about all the funnels in my business that I need to make money? And so I wanted to title this, What the Funnel? Because I think that's literally what you're asking and wondering. And so I have so much to say about this. So this might be a multiple live stream, but at least for today, I want to dive in. If you're watching the replay, please say hi to me and let's talk all about this and any questions you have about funnels in your business and really what it means. I feel like it's kind of a vague term, so I kind of want to first start out by defining defining what I feel like um, other people mean when they say funnels and then also what I mean when I say funnels because it may be different <laughs> than what you're thinking. Um, I also want to remind you that next week is the live workshop. So if you're not registered for the free writing workshop, make sure to um, sign up for that. You can sign up at annafrans.com slash workshop. I haven't run a live workshop like this in over a year, a free one. And so you're gonna wanna sign up to hang out. I'm gonna do a live giveaway. We're gonna do some training and teaching, but also I'm going to have you um, write on the workshop and actually do some interactive stuff. That way you walk away from the training with something that you feel excited about. And I want you to feel shifted and different in your visibility from this workshop. And I love Facebook lives like this, but I think there's something about being in a Zoom room with other women um, in that way. So sign up for that. Okay. So again, this is all about, you know, can I really hit my first 5k month or even make consistent seven, 10 K months? Can I really get my business profitable and supported without a funnel? The short answer is yes. <laughs> the long answer is, well, it depends on how you're defining funnel, right? When people usually say, um, a funnel, I think usually what they're saying is, um, do I need to do Facebook ads? Usually that's tied in with like a Facebook ad funnel, right? It can also be tied in with like your offer suite, right? So when people think about a funnel, they might be thinking, and I have some little charts I want to show you your dude that I wrote up, you know, okay, so first I have them buy this tripwire, right? Like maybe you've bought my social media templates, it's 27 bucks, right? In some ways it's kind of like a, a little intro offer, right? So when you think about your funnel, maybe you're thinking my intro offer, then my course, then this, right? Your paid stuff. And what I, I want to tell you what I think about when I, I think in some ways you do need a funnel, but not a Facebook ads funnel when you're starting out. In fact, I think a Facebook ads funnel is going to distract you and overwhelm you and deter you and sabotage you at the start of your business, <laughs> right? The beautiful thing about doing a funnel the way I'm going to teach you, and this is what I call, it's a funnel, but I call it the client relationship path. If you've ever done this with me in your business, let me know in the chat box if you're like, Anna, what are you talking about? Let me know that too, and we're gonna dive in. So I'm gonna show you, I have a little freebie on it, but I would just wanna show you, I wrote a little chart for you guys. Basically, when I'm saying you need a funnel in your business, this is the type of funnel I mean. Basically, it's a map, and I need you to know how someone goes from free to paid in your business, right? How someone meets you online for the first time, right? And then how they end up handing you money. And you know, when we think about a typical funnel, I need this fancy funnel to make money in my business. Usually we think about it as this like complex winding road. And it could be, but also what if you believe that it could be easy to make money and easy for people to become clients in your business? And I think a lot of the work I do with my clients is like releasing those visibility and, and money blocks so that we can make it simple, so that we can make it easy for people to pay us and get transformed by our services, right? So the funnel, how I define it, it can be as simple as this. Can you see this or is this backwards? Let me know if this is the right way or the wrong way for you. Because if it's the right way, I'm going to hold it up. If it's the wrong way, I'll stop showing you and then I'll just read it to you. But hopefully you can read this. So essentially, a really simple funnel at the start of your business is really looking like this, right? I think the most important place to start out is right here, the visibility, right? What content am I creating for my current community? Where am I showing up? Where am I gathering people? Where am I getting visible in that one space? You guys know if you've been in Visible Impact, I really believe in like being visible, creating your community, right? Creating content for one place, right? So knowing that. <laughs> 
Also knowing how you fill that community, how people get to your content, right? That's, this is your internal visibility, this is your external visibility. Okay, from there, once people are vibing with what I'm offering, what's the process I'm using to get them to buy my thing, right? And so many of you are stuck at not even knowing what your thing is. So that's super important too, having clarity on what is my offer? What do I have for paid in my business, right? Um, how much is it? What is it called? Not making it complex, but really having a simple offer. And then having a simple sales strategy, right? At the start of your business is probably a sales conversation, um, a sales call. But really knowing that, the, if you wanna have a funnel, my loves, this is the funnel, <laughs> this is it. This is the, I call it a relationship path, right? But this is the relationship path you need to think about, right? I don't want you to, you don't have to have a funnel in the sense of having to do Facebook ads or having to have multiple complex offers, right? If you're interested, I can also talk about, you know, once you have this established, my loves, once you have this really solid, once you have this relationship path established and you really know how people in your business become paying clients, you know, because I think it is helpful to sign a client. It is helpful to make money. But do you know what's even more helpful? To know exactly how you did it and to know you can repeat it right? To know what works in your business, to know when I get visible in this way, when I sell this offer, it works and converts, right? From there, okay, I'm going to show you part B, but if you're not making 5K a month right now, just ignore the second part. But I do want to say this in case you are making some money in your business, in case you are hitting 5, 7, 10K and you're looking to continue to grow, I really feel like once you're hitting 5K consistently, you can start looking at the advanced part of the funnel, which kind of goes on top of here. Can you guys see this, <laughs> right? Then you can think about not only what's my free path, but once someone is a paying client, then how am I retaining them in my funnel, right? What's my intro offer? Usually at the start of someone's business, an intro offer is like a single session, a single coaching session, right? Or a single package, you know? And then how do I, you know, and then as you become more advanced, maybe it is like mine, like a $27 offer, right? And then what's my signature offer? And then how am I retaining people with a retainer offer? And this is something I work on with my clients because I think about my business, so many of my clients, I started my business four years ago, so many of my clients have been working with me in some capacity for, for four years. Is that crazy? <laughs> It's really not that crazy, right? Like if you are doing a good job in business, if you're showing up for your people, they're gonna wanna stick around. And so when you create this like second part of your funnel, right, and you make sure, okay, what's my intro offer? What's my main offer? What's my retainer offer? You're really making sure that you're easy. And people may like skip around. Like some people may buy your signature offer and not your intro offer, right? Some people may buy your intro offer and that's it. May not convert to your signature offer. I like to have this path but also I'd like to be open to know that people may come to me in different ways, right? Is this making sense? Okay, if you're joining me live, let me know. Um, like if you have this established, just write the word yes if you feel like you do have a relationship path or an awareness around it or write the word not yet. <laughs> if you feel like this isn't something I've ever thought about and what I do on my retreats, so I'm not hosting one this year obviously, but uh, once a year or so I host an in-person retreat and one of the first things we do on that retreat is we take out a big piece of poster board paper, right? It's not a retreat unless you have, um, sorry, I have a hair somewhere. Um, a poster, big poster board. Um, but I have my people map out this, right? Have them map this out and get really clear on this. And I feel like it's helpful to be able to just look at, okay, what's that map? What's that path? What's my, I guess, funnel, right? So in that way, I think you should have a funnel, <laughs> have knowledge of how people go from free to paid in your business. But in the sense of having to, especially at the start, do a fancy Facebook ads funnel um, or have a fancy offer suite, right? A lot of times when people say funnel, they mean this offer suite part. At the start of your business, I actually think that it's not helpful to do that. Okay, let me see what else I want to say. Um, okay, here's the beautiful thing too, right? About... Um, not obsessing about a funnel while you're bringing your first wave of cash, right? Whether it's consistent 5K months, whatever that is for you. The beautiful thing is as you're doing it organically without a funnel and you're keeping it really simple, right? You have this really simple path is then when you do go to add on complexity, like for me, I didn't have that $27 tripwire, um, like the social media templates for a long time in my business, right? 
But once I was ready to do it, I knew exactly what to do, right? Or you think about like the group program I have, Visible Impact, right? Sell with Heart, right? Those programs, I was able to really nail it on the first launches of those programs because I already had a knowledge of what worked. And here's the re other reason, right? Um, because, oh, what was I gonna say is other thing? Uh, because I had an all, I forgot my train of thought. Um, and okay, here's the other reason, because I didn't have scarcity run the launch, right? When you do leverage things, right? I really feel like leveraging, whether it's with Facebook ads or a group or anytime you're multiplying, right? You want to just dump fuel on what's already working, right? Ideally, when you do a Facebook ad someday, if that's your strategy, I personally still don't run Facebook ads. I don't feel like I have the need to. Um, but if you were to run paid advertising, ideally, you'd be doing a paid ad on a post that's already, you've already nailed the messaging and the content on it, right? You've already posted it in your community and it went viral. People loved it, right? You know, there's a podcast episode that was really wildly successful and you want to like put advertising on it to make it more successful, right? Same thing with a group program, right? The beautiful thing about launching a group program after you've filled your one-on-one -on -one and you've really worked out those concepts one-on-one -on -one with clients is you're launching a group program, number one, that you know works, but number two that you know is going to really pick up in the market, right? People were buying it one-on-one. -on -one. So there's that proven part, right? Knowing that, you know, what you're leveraging is proven. The other beautiful thing is um, when you launch, right, it takes effort and energy, right? In order to do those $27 templates, I had to invest in a designer to design those for me, right? I had to invest a ton of time into the sales page for the templates and everything, right? Um, but the beautiful thing is, or even thinking about a group launch, like a group launch takes a lot of energy, right? And I think like at the start of my business, it was easier to become more attached to the outcome of the group launch because I hadn't really fully stabilized my base income. Um, but I think the more that I really stabilized my base income and I really locked into realizing you know, we have multiple, maybe you have multiple income streams in your business, right? But the more we can like lock in that first income stream, and again, it can be a really simple income stream, probably like your one-on-one -on -one offer, right? Then when you go to launch your group, it's gonna go better because you're gonna be unattached from the outcome, right? Let's say you already have this funnel going, you're already locked in 5K a month with your main offer, with your one-on-one -on -one offer. Then when you go to launch your group, it's like, what do they call it? I was gonna say putting on the pie, but that is so not the phrase. What's the phrase where something about cake? I can't think about what it is right now. Anyway, it's like the bonus. It's like the cherry on top, right? Someone's gonna come back here and let me know the phrase and I'll be like, oh, that's what it was. Um, icing on the cake, icing on the cake, that's what it is, right? The group offer, the launch is the icing on the cake, right? Like instead of being like, I need this launch, you know, to be successful or else, I can't pay my contractors. I can't pay myself, right? Thank you, Lydia, saying I see on the gate. That was what it was, um, right? I can't function in my business. Instead, it's like, you know, I have this, I have the funnel of my first income stream locked in so that I can feel super spacious, so that I can hire support for this launch, right? So that I can feel unattached to, um, Yes, thank you, Lydia, for writing that, um, the outcome on that. So I really, really advocate for if you are, and I don't want to make you write this in the chat box because I know I want you to be able to keep like what you're making um, confidential if that feels best to you. Um, but I really want you to think about if you haven't made 5K consistently in your business, and if you feel like that's not reachable or achievable, let me tell you it is, right? It is 100% doable for you with organic visibility, with one product, with one income stream to hit 5K a month. And I think we believe, or there's as much as in the online space, that we need to have 17 products in order to hit 5K a month consistently. But actually it's the opposite, right? It's when we get scattered in our visibility, in our sales, when it starts to become complex, right? Like money loves simplicity. I didn't say it was necessarily easy to create simplicity, right? Sometimes simplicity can be the hardest thing. But if you aren't consistently making 5K a month, the only funnel you need to be worried about is not Facebook ads, is not this second level funnel that I'm talking about here. All you really need to be focused on is this.
This is the only relationship path that you need to be thinking about, right? Again, this part first, and this is why for the free workshop next week, I'm doing that workshop, right, on visibility, on content, because I feel like it really starts here. When you're magnetic and when you're showing up with your content and your community, it's gonna be so much easier for you to do two things, grow, <laughs> grow this, right, with traffic, and also once you have it, convert it right? And a lot of times people say like, well, I'm not quite clear on my offer, right? I'm not quite clear on my message. So I'm going to wait till I'm perfectly clear on my offer and message to get visible, right? Or the, or also here like, Anna, my audience isn't that big yet, right? And so what I need to do is I need to grow my audience with, I need to figure out all of my traffic before I show up and get visible. But what I find is the best growth, I hope these words are the right way for you and not backwards, is from like the inside out kind of, right? And I mean, think about that analogy. Like I think anything in our life, you know, I think about times where I've tried to change my partner or my kid's behavior. Like I really only am able to create effective change from my, from the inside out, right? Really starting with myself and really asking myself, what boundaries do I need to put? How do I need to take care of myself differently, right? One of my favorite affirmations is, I, as a mama, is I take care of myself like it's my full-time job, right? Like really believing that it's my job to take care of me first, right? And so as you're doing this, as you're just getting visible and figuring out any, I mean, there's so many blocks that come up to really doing that, right? But as we get visible first, again, it's gonna be so much easier to have that clarity. Like this part, this visibility is what gives you clarity and confidence that makes the traffic part easier. That makes really clear clarity on your offer easier, right? I mean, I do think ideally we're getting visible knowing what we're pointing people towards, <laughs> knowing that the reason we're getting visible is to sell something or grow something, right? But I think even if you don't have that nailed, I really advise getting visible as a part of that process. And I know it feels super vulnerable, right? To be visible when you don't have clarity, to be visible when you're not confident. Like I know that's like, Anna, why would I be visible if I'm not feeling confident or I'm not feeling clear? And while I think it, you can do things to get clear and confident, I think the clarity and confidence is a part of that process, right? So it's like, oh, that's bad news, but it's good news because maybe you're watching this and you're like, I was feeling like I was crazy waiting around for this, right? But it's never gonna come. So just show up on Monday or Tuesday. There's two workshop times you can pick from. Get visible with me and then the rest of the path is going to work itself out, right? As you get really clear on, you know what, for six whole weeks, I'm showing up on Instagram stories every dang day, right? Whatever it is for you. For six whole weeks, I'm showing up daily in my Facebook group. I'm just showing up for that one place, right? Then just think about this for a minute. How much easier is it going to be to get traffic? Because you know, what you're pe pushing people towards. You know for six weeks, you can tell people, hey guys, maybe you won't say for the next six weeks, but you'll say, you guys, I'm so excited for this training. I'm doing my Facebook group. Come join it. Come hang out, right? That traffic piece, right? As you network with your friends, you can say, would you, if there's anyone struggling with this issue, with weight loss, whatever it is, would you tell them to join my Facebook group, right? That traffic becomes so much easier as we're embracing that visibility. And again, also that sales, right? Because once we have that community, once we have people that we're connecting with and reaching, from there, it's so much easier to make an offer because ideally you're offering something that people really need, right? Ideally you're offering um, a solution to something that you feel passionate about, but also that your audience is asking for, that they're saying, I need help with this, right? And especially at the start of my business, I really asked that a lot in my content. Like if you go back to the group four years ago, you'll find like a lot of polls. I was really asking, I was really listening, and I was really saying, what are you stuck with, right? And that you are never available for that if all you're obsessing about is this funnel. If all you're obsessing about is Facebook ads, right? Um, and instead you're giving yourself permission to connect with real humans and grow an organic audience and be in the process right? And really be able to say, hey, I'm going to show up. What do you need? Hey, how can I help you? Right? Um, and I really crowdsourced so much of my business, especially at the start, like what I named my programs, how I formatted them. Um, and I think once you realize that, you know, that is the way to the fastest lasting success, I think it becomes kind of fun. And you're like, oh, really? I'm actually good at this. I'm really good at connecting with people. Um, okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Um, 
But as a recap, <laughs> you don't need a fancy funnel, but you do need a relationship path, right? And you need to start that relationship path. Honestly, at every level in my business, like even now, when I, I revisit this relationship path, oh, and by the way, I should tell you this, it's not one and done. <laughs> you don't just like set this up and then it's forever that way, right? As you grow in your business, it'll evolve. Like I said, like you kind of add this extra part, right? Um, you're able to add more automation, more complexity, more simplicity in some ways, right? Um, and you're able to, as you onboard a team, have the team help you with that. So I actually think this is something I try to look at multiple times a year. I draw this little diagram for myself and I really ask myself, you know, what is it for me right now? Right. And think about, I mean, business changes, right? Over time, you're community may change as social media platforms change your content community may change right your traffic sources may change um what you offer may shift so it's like i would really encourage you wherever you're at in your business to re um rethink through this right really allow yourself to ask yourself and keep it this simple like keep it this simple especially if you are not hitting consistent 5k months yet i re i know this is gonna feel like me it hard and torturous, but I really want you to try to just do one thing for each of these. One, just one. And if I was you, you know, a few years ago, I would have said, oh, but I want to have multiple places I'm showing up on social media. Oh, but I want to have multiple traffic sources. I want to have, you know, multiple sales conversions, right? I want to do a challenge and I want to do a webinar and I want to have sales calls, right? And I want to like, by the way, like don't look at my business and what I'm currently doing now as an example of what you should be doing if you're not hitting 5K a month yet, right? Look at what I did at the start, right? In order to start hitting consistent 5K a month, I was not doing webinars and challenges and discovery calls, right? For the most part, I was just doing discovery calls and then I added on challenges, right? That's the beautiful thing is as you grow and you have a team, you can have help with layering on. Right now I'm visible on Instagram and Facebook, but the start of my business, I did not touch Instagram. I would say for the first year, I didn't even touch, I didn't even have a business page, <laughs> right? I really went on all in on one thing. And so I know it feels counterintuitive, but I'm telling you, this is the fastest track to success. And this is why Invisible Impact, the six-week group program I run, I really the whole first week, it sounds like, oh, we should be able to do this in 10 minutes, but often it takes a whole week to nail down your one offer, to nail down your one platform, to nail down your one traffic source, right? But honestly, it's worth the time to create that clarity because when you have this clarity and when you stand as the leader in your business and you say, hey audience, if you're vibing with me, this is the one thing I'm selling right now. This is the one place I'm showing up online, right? That's what makes it easier for them to connect with you, right? They know, let me know if this has happened to you before. It. Oh, you said, I need to catch the replay. I missed the important part. Yes, this replay will be posted, so feel free to um, catch the replay. And I always come back and answer questions if you have anything that pops up, Jabine. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh. I have, there's been people online that I've followed and um, like one person I follow, she doesn't even show up on social media. She just writes an email to her list. Someone else I follow um, isn't on Facebook. She's just on Instagram and it sounds crazy, but I don't really scroll social media feeds anymore. I go to the people I wanna follow. <laughs> like I'm not, I don't read a ton of email newsletters, but I will go to my inbox. I have it like sorted out when someone sends me a newsletter, but I go to her newsletter file that, accumulates in my inbox and I'll sit down and read our newsletters because I love them, right? I'll go to Instagram straight to this person's feed that I follow. Okay, one of them that I love is Mel Robbins. So I'll go to Instagram and just scroll Mel Robbins' feed. What if your people were obsessed enough with your work that they would go to wherever you're showing up with your visibility, right? Instead of feeling like I need to be in all the visible places, right? To get clients. I need to spread thin. What if you stood in your power and you picked that one place and you trusted that people were going to come to you, right? And I do obviously like we don't want to pick some like obscure social media platform like no one's on, right? I'm talking about the main ones, right? Obviously like they're, <laughs> we want to like also, we want to show up where our people are at, but I think the part of that we don't consider is where do I want to show up, right? Where do I feel like I can be consistent on? Where can I be consistent on for six weeks? And maybe you just even want to drop that in the chat if that's something you've never considered before, but you're feeling the nudge. Like what does your gut say? Don't overthink it. If I told you you could only show up in one place for the next six weeks, 
where would it be? Just drop it in the chat box, right? Just let me know. Put it there. doesn't mean you have to do it, but it, just like see how that feels, right? And then of course, like <laughs> debriefing all the blocks that come up with that, right? Same thing with all the parts of this, right? And it's okay if it, Tim, sometimes it takes time to get clarity on that. Sometimes you need to talk to a coach or talk through it to be able to pick. One of my first investments in my business was just hiring a coach um, for one session to be able to get some clarity on these things. Because I knew, okay, if I'm going to be consistent for six weeks, I want to make sure I'm making the right decision. I don't want to pick the wrong social media platform and waste my time. I don't want to pick the wrong offer and waste time. So it is okay to get support around that, right? Before you like go all in on that. I love that Jabeen says Instagram, right? Really showing up with such consistency for six weeks. And so like that's one piece of the puzzle, right? And so really looking at this puzzle and saying like, you know, what are the pieces that I need to make decisions on? And then how can be I be so fierce about that? What support do I need so that I can be fierce about it for six weeks, right? Um, because that's where the results come and that's where the simplicity comes. And I know that it takes a lot of work to make the decisions and create the simplicity, but really the, the simpler you make it, the easier it's gonna be for your audience and for your clients to say yes. Does that make sense? When we leave things vague and we don't make those decisions and when we create that fuzz and we don't do the hard work to create the clarity, that's when our clients don't convert, right? Because if it's not clear to us what we're selling, where we're showing up, where we're getting our trap, like your audience isn't gonna know that either, right? So often I hear women say, you know, um, you know, my women aren't buying, but then I ask, what are you selling? And it's like, well, I'm kind of selling this offer and I'm kind of, sell if you're not clear on what you're selling, your audience isn't going to be clear either. If you're not clear on where you're showing up online, your audience isn't going to be either because it's as simple as, maybe this sounds crazy, as saying, hey guys, right? Maybe Jabeen says to her audience, I'm going to be, for the next few weeks, I'm going to be showing up here on Instagram so you can expect, um, you know, a post from me three times a week. Um, and I'm going to be talking about this topic, right? Ah, her audience is able to relax and be like, cool, if I want to hang out with Jabeen, this is where I'm going to go. This is what it's going to look like, right? Same thing with selling. Literally being able to say, hey guys, this is what I'm selling right now. So if you want to work with me, if you want support, this is what you'd purchase, right? And just being direct like that, or even like I said at the start of this, training for the workshop, I said, hey, I'm doing a free workshop on Monday or Tuesday. I would love for you to join, right? I had to get clarity on what that free offer was in my business in order to stand in my power and to be able to tell it to you, right? Um, so do the work to get that clarity. But again, keep it simple. One page, four things. I also sometimes will just write this out in the chat box with like a little arrow, right? Like traffic, arrow, content, arrow, sales, arrow, offer, arrow. And again, don't feel like you need to do this in order to get visible. No, 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 my loves. The answer is get visible and this will kind of come in the process, right? This will come in the process. Um, let me know if that was helpful for you. Um, and again, feel free. I'm kind of like passionate about this, about not going down the rabbit trail of fancy funnels in order to make five, seven, 10K online, right? I really, really feel like um, it can be a distraction. It can be discouraging. And what you really need most is to go all in on one traffic source, one visibility source, one sales strategy, one offer, and see traction in that. Start getting a return, right? Start getting a return and getting some some cash back, right? Start working with clients, start filling your business, right? And from there, it's gonna be so much easier to grow. It's gonna be so much easier to launch that group program. It's gonna be so much easier to do ads if that's what you wanna do, right? Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I look forward to hanging out with you guys on Monday or Tuesday again. You can sign up for either time, but we're gonna be doing um, live, you're going to be writing. <laughs> You're going to be doing some writing on the workshop. I'm going to be training. We're going to be doing Q&A. It's going to be a great time, just a great time to hang out together. Okay, thank you so much for hanging out this morning and pop any questions below, anything that comes up for you, and I would love to answer them. Okay, have a good Thursday. Bye.